Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Today we are taking a look at this uh, panel meter module. It might look uh, strange at first because all we see is a PCB with uh, no way of displaying any measured value. But you might notice this 16-pin uh, uh, header on this side, which should give you a hint on how this is intended to be used. So I discovered this uh, module a few months ago and it's been sitting in a box since then. I almost forgot about it until a few days ago when I decided it, it will be a good idea to do a video on the subject. So if you haven't uh, guessed already, this module is uh, intended to be used with a 16 by 2 LCD module. The module itself costs around $8 and uh, for another dollar or two you can buy a uh, standard 16x2 LCD module to have a uh, complete uh, panel meter. So far they're available on eBay and AliExpress and uh, as usual you'll find links for this in the description below and remember that if you click those links you are supporting this channel and I thank you for that. Let me give you a few details on the specs of this uh, module and uh, as usual it's pretty difficult to find information as it's the case with every new module coming out of uh, China. First of all we have an input range of uh, 0 to 60 volts and 0 to 10 amps and a 5 volts uh, rail is needed for powering the module itself. It has a voltage measuring accuracy of uh, plus or minus 0.2% plus 0.2% full scale which sounds strange because these figures are usually given in a percentage plus or minus a number of least significant digits. The current measuring accuracy is uh, plus or minus 0.4% plus 0.3% full scale. The meter is basically capable of measuring with a resolution of 1 millivolt and 1 milliamp which is uh, quite nice for projects like uh, DIY power supplies or DIY electronic loads. It can also display the power in watts with a resolution of 1 milliwatt as well as showing the load impedance or at least it looks like from the pearl pictures I've seen. There is also a mode 2 where it measures the capacity in amp hours and we will take a look at that later to see how we can switch into that mode. In total there should be four modes, mode 3 and mode 4 should be about calibration of the module and we'll see how that works later. The size of the module is 36 by 50 millimeters so it's pretty compact if you're thinking to integrate this inside an enclosure the size of the LCD will probably be your biggest problem although you can find smaller 16 by 2 LCDs. Also, you need to consider supplying this module with a very clean 5 volt rail because that is used for the uh, measuring circuitry. So it's best to power it from a linear regulator like a 78 or 5 or equivalent. Let's take a closer look at the module and see what parts we can identify from the PCB module. So this uh, three pot right, right here is used to adjust the LCD contrast. This is the uh, switch used for switching through the different modes. This small SOT89 package uh, is marked uh, CJ431. So this uh, must be a TL431 voltage reference which is uh, supplying the reference voltage to our ATC. This 16-pin uh, SO package on the right is uh, a microcontroller from STC and the uh, part number is 15W204S. So they're using a very cheap microcontroller, but uh, it could be more than enough for this simple job. And on the left, we have another 16 pin uh, SO package. And uh, this guy is marked uh, TM7705. Uh, uh, the AD7705 is um, quite a well-known 16-bit Sigma Delta ADC from analog devices and from what I could find this is a pin compatible clone of that chip hence the TM uh, in front of the uh, part number. Probably worse in performance when co compared to the genuine analog devices part 
but very cheap in comparison. So in this case, you'd better watch out when you buy the AD7705 from uh, China because it's probably just a TM7705 uh, remarked as uh, an analog device's chip. And to that, you add a few passives for bypassing a voltage divider, a current uh, shunt, which is right here, and that's all you need for this very basic uh, panel meter. So let's uh, power up the module. I have connected the uh, LCD module to the uh, panel meter. I'm applying 5 volts from my bench power supply. Welcome to use. It's pretty slow to start, but that's okay. So this is mode 1, where we get a volts, amps, uh, watts, and right here an impedance uh, measurement. And with a uh, long press of the switch, which is uh, over 5 seconds, the meter should go into mode 2, where it will show you volts, amps, capacity in amp hours and time, and the timer has already started. This mode is useful when charging or discharging a battery because it will give you an indication of uh, the capacity and by short pressing the switch while in this mode it will reset the timer but it's pretty slow it takes about two seconds to react by uh, short pressing again the switch it will start the counter for new measurement with another long press of over five seconds you will go back to mode one and i guess the bad thing uh, right here is that uh, it doesn't remember the mode you are in or the values if you turn off power to the module. One thing I noticed in uh, capacity mode is that the timer seems a bit slow every second. So what I did was to run a stopwatch next to the counter on the meter. Notice the difference over the span of one minute. The difference was about 26 seconds. So the timer on the meter is way slower and I'm afraid that could translate into accumulated errors for the amp hour measurement. This uh, is caused by the internal RC oscillator inside the microcontroller because I don't see any external crystal being used so it must be using the internal RC oscillator. And that's either incorrectly calibrated or incorrectly configured or plain simple very inaccurate. I could not get into modes 3 and 4, I've tried long pressing the switch for more than 20 seconds, I've uh, tried pressing the switch while turning on power, I just couldn't enter those calibration modes that um, are mentioned in the AliExpress uh, description. Okay, so now let's do some accuracy tests by comparing the measured values from my Agilent 34401A, which is a 6.5 digit multimeter to the values we are measuring on the panel meter. First, we're going to do some voltage tests. There is a big mess of wires here because uh, I needed to have both the Agilent and the, this panel meter connected to the same uh, uh, voltage. So we're going to start with uh, one volt. Uh, there is quite a big difference here, certainly not within spec. Let's go up to 3.3 volts. which is a common voltage used in uh, electronics. Here, once again, we are almost 100 uh, millivolts uh, out. Let's go up to 5 volts. We can see that the update rate of the screen is pretty slow, about one update per second. So once again, we are 100 millivolts uh, plus on the plus side. Let's go up to 10 volts. Looks like now we are about 120 millivolts on the plus side. Let's check uh, 20 volts, about 160 millivolts plus. And on the 30 volt measurement, we are uh, 200 millivolts um, over the uh, actual value. Now, something like this could be uh, calibrated uh, inside the software. 
of course it wouldn't be linear because you would uh, calibrating you would be calibrating with a uh, simple constant but still it would improve the measurement by a lot only if i could get into that uh, calibration mode so now we're going to check the uh, amp meter accuracy and we're starting at 10 milliamps the panel meter doesn't pick up anything let's go up to 20 amps uh, 20 milliamps sorry and the panel meter still doesn't pick up anything let's try uh, 30 milliamps still nothing 40 milliamps and it starts measuring at around 40 milliamps and it has an error of about uh, 10 milliamps let's go up to 50 yep so it, it started working but we are seeing an error let's try 100 milliamps okay we're seeing uh, approximately uh, the same error of 10 uh, milliamps it is showing uh, on the low side uh, minus 10 milliamps or so let's try uh, 500 milliamps okay we're getting uh, closer to the uh, measured value let's try uh, 1 amp this is at uh, 1 amp we're seeing an error of around 20 milliamps let's try 5 amps so I think I just uh, blew the fuse on my uh, Agilent meter because I wasn't uh, paying attention to the rating of the fuse inside this uh, meter now I don't think there is uh, any point in testing the uh, amp power uh, display because if we got errors in the voltage me measurement we got errors in the amps measurement and uh, the timer doesn't seem to be accurate uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some uh, nasty errors in the amp power measurement which of course uses all of these uh, three values to do the calculation so I'm starting to wonder is this a case of uh, a counterfeit product like it was with the um, uh, dummy load that I re reviewed and it was a, a fake crappy product because on the product page for this module on AliExpress they say uh, it has four modes but I can't really find a way to enter modes three and four so if you have any info if you own one of these uh, modules please let me know in the comment section below uh, if you manage to get into that uh, calibration menu because if that is real and exists uh, then the, the module could be much better by calibrating the voltage and amps uh, measurement just by comparing with the photos I have uh, almost exactly the same uh, silk screen the same version 2.63 the components look the same uh, with the pictures uh, with the product pictures on AliExpress so I'm not sure what to what to think of that I'll give you my uh, final thoughts the design could be improved by also providing a uh, serial port output where it uh, spits out the uh, measure measurement data in a usable format this way you could interconnect this module to another existing system and not be forced to use the 1602 display which is pretty huge and uh, inefficient in uh, today's standards I mean this uh, this whole uh, display pulls about 30 milliamps most of which is used by the uh, backlight and there are much more efficient displays uh, these days also if the design would use a more common microcontroller like, like an STM32 or a NatMega and the software would be open source it would make it very interesting and open for hacking and improving which makes me want to start working on such an open source project however lately I lack the time to work on these uh, kind of projects but I would very much but I would very much like to work on such a such a project I'm not even sure whether to advise you to buy this or not I mean you've seen there are errors on the voltage and the um, uh, current measurement but you do get that extra uh, resolution in here with the one millivolt and one milliamps so it comes uh, at a 
it comes as a package with the errors for that extra resolution. But I think this could be better implemented if uh, it has some error calibration. But until we can find a, a way to enter that calibration menu, I don't think this is usable as a panel meter for a, uh, a power supply or uh, a dummy load because the actual measured values will not be the real values. Of course, we could do uh, some uh, calibration the old style uh, way by messing with uh, the re register divider values and uh, changing those, but uh, it's, it's not really something you want to start doing on such a module. It would be it would be better if it had the software calibration. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I will see you next time.